Yo, what's up everyone? My name's Dave and you suck at programming. And this time, we're back talking about environmental variables. Why? Well, because a lot of guys had questions when it comes to it, and there's some Linux-specific stuff I wanted to cover because that's where it seems a lot of the questions were. So right now, we are logged into a Linux machine. This is important because the Linux machine has the proc file system we can use. So as you know, there's an env command, and this shows you your current environment. As you can see, got a lot of stuff going on here. A lot of stuff in my environment. Well, why does it matter that we're on Linux? Well, we can cat proc. Dollar, 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 dollar expands to our current PID, environ. Now, what do we get? We get our environmental variables, but they're separated by null bytes, so we're not actually printing those. So what we have to do is we have to rerun that, and then we separate or we um, replace the null bytes with new lines. This will just make it easier for us to read. We run this, and there you go. There's our environment. Some more people are wondering, why is this different? Why is what's in environ for my, my current process different than what the env command says? And that's because this file is populated at process start. This is the environment when your process was exec, but it's not your environment after it's been modified. So this is a snapshot of what the process looked like when it first started. Everything else you saw in the env command, that was from my bash rc, that was from me manually setting it. I could do export foo equals dave, and then I could run the uh, env command and grep for foo, and there it is. But if I run the cat thing and then I grep for foo, it won't be there because it wasn't set. This is a snapshot of what it is when you execute the, uh, or when your bash shell, when your shell was uh, executed. So the question came up though, this one was interesting. What about proc self? Because proc has a little helper for you. It's slash proc slash self. And that always points to yourself. This is nice because in your scripts, you don't need to actually hard code in a PID. You don't need to put your own PID there. You don't need to call get PID. You can just use proc self and let the kernel resolve it for you. So what happens when I do this? Now we have it. Isn't that odd? If we do dollar dollar, it's not there. But if we do proc self environ, we have it. In fact, if we do proc self environ and look at all of it, we have the exact same output of env. What is going on? Why is that different? Well, here's the interesting part. So as you can see from these two things, it's a little bit different than you expect. This is a snapshot of what dollar dollar looked like when it started. And this is a snapshot of what self looked like. And self is just a string. And that string got passed to cat. So self points to what cat's environment looks like when it was run. So the cat process is a subshell of our shell, so it inherits our environment at that time. So cat's environment has foo set in it, but dollar dollar, our current bash PID, does not have environ or does not have foo set in it. So that explains the discrepancy. So hopefully that demystified a little bit for you.